Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Ticking Together. As always, the goal of this channel is to provide education about and to raise awareness as to what it's like living with Tourette's Syndrome. In today's video, I wanted to talk to you guys about something that I feel like needs to be addressed because it's been really on my mind and kind of bothering me and I feel like you guys need to hear about it too. Today we're going to be talking about how to tell if someone is faking Tourette's Syndrome or tic disorders because I feel like this needs to be addressed pronto. But before we get into the nitty gritty, let's just back it up if you don't know who I am. My name is Carly, I'm 23 years old and I was diagnosed with Tourette's Syndrome when I was 12, so it's been a fairly long journey of living with tics and figuring out how to navigate the world of tics and Tourette's. Tourette's syndrome is a neurological disorder, which means it affects my brain and it causes me to make these weird movements and sounds you're seeing that are called tics, and I don't mean to be doing them, they're super involuntary and uncontrollable. If you'd like to stay tuned to educational content about Tourette's syndrome, as well as some of my life stories, please subscribe to my channel and ring that notification bell to stay tuned to all of my content and be sure to just continue watching and learning. Just a quick little preface, my tics have been really awful today. It's been a flare up day, so that's why they're more so in this video than in past few videos. Um, but regardless, we're gonna get into the topic of how do you tell if someone is faking Tourette's? Ready? Drum roll. How do you tell if someone is faking Tourette's syndrome? The answer is... You can't. There is no way to know for sure. And this is something that I feel like you guys might find unsettling. And that's okay. Let's talk about it. Let's have a genuine conversation from me to you talking about how come you can't tell if someone is faking tics and why it is super harmful to accuse individuals of faking. So to start off, let me remind you if you're new here or if you've been here a while, let me just reiterate the fact that people with Tourette's syndrome or tic disorders have a different kind of life cycle of their tics. What I mean by this is tics will wax and wane, and this means that tics will either increase in frequency and severity or decrease in frequency and severity. And this happens on a cyclical basis. So it's a cycle. You never really know when your tics are gonna be waxing or waning. It's just a thing that happens with people with Tourette's and tic disorders. And it's something that I feel like needs to be the opening point of this video. Social media has turned into a very toxic place for people with disorders such as Tourette's syndrome or mental health issues such as depression or anxiety because everything has really turned into a competition of who has it worse, who is this most severe, yada yada yada. And so social media has made it to a point where the severe cases of Tourette's syndrome have really overtaken the mild cases and so the stigma has kind of turned over into the fact that if you don't have a severe case you're not valid. And I don't mean to bash anyone, this is just how it's been, this is how it's turned out people have really latched onto the severe cases and said, okay, this is what Tourette's is. This must be the only version of Tourette's. And so the fact that the severe cases have been showcased as what is mainstream has led to cases like mine or like whoever else out there who's milder to be accused of faking or invalidated because we're not taking every five seconds. And it's important to note here the waxing and waning cycles of tics because sometimes people's tics will be super severe and very elevated and rapid and happening constantly but other times that same individual will be able to sit still for long periods at a time without ticking and this is again just the cycle of tics they wax and wane they come and go and you never really know when the cycle is going to change it just comes out of the blue so in that regard you can't accuse someone of faking based on the severity level because every single person Every single person with Tourette's syndrome will experience Tourette's or their tic disorder very differently. Literally every single person with a tic disorder or Tourette's syndrome will have different symptoms 
I genuinely don't believe there are going to be two people out there who experience Tourette's who have the exact same tics. Regardless of echolalia, echopraxia, echographia, regardless of all the echo phenomena, I don't believe two people will have the exact same tics at all. Everyone has different things as tics. Everyone's case is very different. And this is another reason why you can't accuse people of faking because everyone goes through it differently. Another thing to note is that people have different triggers. So, for example, if someone's stressed, their tics may be more enhanced than if they're not stressed. If someone is on their period or their menstrual cycle, their tics may be more enhanced. If someone is in school and they're really studying hard for a test, their tics may be more enhanced. But on the other hand, if someone is focused on a task they love and really in the zone, their tics might be milder or lessened. If someone is choosing to actively suppress, their tics will be lessened. Different cases will present differently and that's just the reality of Tourette's syndrome and tic disorders. No two people will have the exact same symptoms or triggers. Another thing I wanted to let you guys know is that people online either show what they're comfortable showing you or they show what they know is going to get views. And this is a tricky situation to fathom sometimes, but for me, I know I have TikTok ticking together if you want to check it out, but I post content Hi, where my vocal tics are more evident than days when my tics are waning. I definitely post things that I know will get views, but also things that are completely legitimate and valid. But you'll come on YouTube and you'll see things like this where we're having a heart-to-heart -heart discussion where I'm not ticking every five seconds. And for some reason, people think that that's a surefire way that people like me are faking when in reality we're not. We're just choosing bits and pieces of our life to show to you. And you really can't judge a book by their cover when we're showing you 30 second clips of our lives. For me, when I make my Tourette's Against Humanity videos, I will be filming for a super long time and I'll take the highlighted clips, the ones that are the funniest or the weirdest, and merge them into a compilation. And you don't see the behind the scenes of the painful tics or the motor tics that cause extreme discomfort. You only see what I feel like you want to see because that's what social media is. People take clips of what they think are going to get views or what people are going to like and they'll show that and I'm even guilty of that and I hate it. But by no means am I faking. I have been accused on TikTok of faking my Tourette's and it's really affected me mentally because I feel like how dare someone come and invalidate my experiences when they don't personally know me. Because I have had tics my whole life that I was diagnosed when I was 12 with Tourette's syndrome and it's genuinely been a really intense struggle every single day. Even though I am medicated now, I still struggle and I feel like it's such a slap in the face to be told I'm invalid, I'm faking, when I'm really not. And so I can't even imagine younger people who are posting their stories and being accused of faking because I know if I was younger and posting this content and being accused of faking, I would be crushed. Like even to this day, I'm sad about it, but I can move forward and hope to educate you guys on why it is horrible to accuse people of faking. But I don't think younger audiences are as lucky because they're very impressionable and social media is a big part of their life too. Now, there can be some red flags in people who are actually faking Tourette's syndrome. And the only one that I've seen to be very noticeable is that people on TikTok used to do the hoodie trend where they would wear the hood over their face, hide their identity, and dance while ticking ticking and the thing is the ticks would be to the beat of the music and that is something that isn't very accurate ticks are completely random and spontaneous and i don't think they're ever to the beat of music like if you're doing that you're either really lucky or faking <laughs> so that's something to note too there are ways to tell the really obvious ones but if someone is actually coming forward and showing you hey i have Tourette's, this is my story and then you're accusing them of faking, it's just really a bad scenario all the way around. Accusing people of faking Tourette's syndrome or tics can be really, really detrimental to a person's mental health. And again, as I said, you really can't know if someone is faking or not, so why not just be nice to people and be kind and not jump to conclusions? Because you only see what that individual is either comfortable showing you, as I said, or what they want to show you. 
That isn't to say that people aren't out there faking ticks because I know it's a thing that is happening, but if you are one of those people, you really need to look within yourself and think, why am I doing this? Because it's causing so much harm to the community of people who actually have ticks and Tourette's. So just think about that. And if you are someone out there who accuses individuals of faking, let's put a stop to that too, because it can really, really impact a person negatively. As I said, social media often showcases the severe cases of Tourette's. So if you see someone who's not ticking every five seconds, you may think, oh, this is a fraud because they're not ticking like what you've seen on social media. But as I mentioned, every single case of Tourette's syndrome or tick disorder is different. And just know that you never really can know someone's life because people on social media are really just showing you short snippets of their lives and you're really not there behind the scenes. So remember that. One more thing is people can choose to be medicated or unmedicated on Tourette's syndrome and that can also have a huge impact in the severity of ticks. So, as you guys may know, I'm super medicated. I'm on three pills a day for my Tourette syndrome. Two antipsychotics and one dopamine inhibitor, I think. I don't know. But it really does affect me and it causes my tics to be waning almost constantly. So even though I'm not ticking as much as, say, someone who's ticking for every five seconds, I still have Tourette's and I don't think you guys have a right to say that I'm now a fake or a fraud because I still experience it. I'm just choosing to be medicated and choosing to have kind of an outlet for my tics to just be a little bit more calm. So there you have it. This is the video on how to tell if someone is faking Tourette's syndrome. Newsflash, you can't. Please stop accusing individuals of faking. Those compilation videos on YouTube of is this person faking Tourette's, that is so harmful. And even if they are faking, there are probably some people in there who aren't. And to see themselves on a faking compilation, ugh, I can't even imagine. So just be nice to people. Don't accuse people of faking, even if deep down inside you believe they are. You really don't have to go out of your way to accuse someone, because it might wreck their day. I know it's wrecked my days a lot. If you guys want to stay tuned to educational content about Tourette's syndrome, as well as some of my life stories of living with Tourette's for over 10 years, please subscribe to my channel and ring that notification bell to stay tuned to all of my content. I would really appreciate that. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it or if you agree with the notion that you can't tell if someone's faking Tourette's. And leave a comment down below saying hi, telling me what you want to see in future videos, or letting me know if you have anything to say about this because I feel like it should be an open conversation. Maybe I'm wrong, but this is just my opinion. As always, we're learning together, we're laughing together, and we're ticking together. Have a good night. Bye.